Okay, I have uh, been able to heal up in the face a little bit. I just have to watch out for future sun. We are uh, all gathered together as a team. We're headed to take a rest after the first rotation in a little village called Dingbache. And so we'll stay there for four days probably until a window opens up and Everest says, come on over. And then we will come back and uh, climb to the top. So in the meantime, we need to find some place a little bit lower than this as far as the altitude goes to rest. And that's where we're headed. Say goodbye to base camp for a little while. Say hello to Dingbache. All right, we've uh, traversed the ridge out of base camp and uh, I'm looking down at the beginnings of Gorikshep. Gorikshep is it's kind of like a, a town that shouldn't exist <laughs> in the middle of dryness. And uh, we're gonna bypass that and go to Dingbache. But uh, you know what's been really nice? I've been able to walk with Ronnie here. <laughs> Ronnie has uh, been kind of stationed at base camp for a while. And ever since we arrived, that was probably the last time we walked together. Yeah. But this time, you know, we're just taking it easy and enjoying. So, press on to Dingbushé. Walking back along the trail is interesting because you're seeing everything in reverse. You might recognize what's behind me. That's the Memorial Hill. Yep. Actually, Ronnie gave a little interview there. <laughs> Not, I haven't even edited that. You don't know. I'm so far behind. I was just talking to Ronnie that this trip has become less about the video and more about the objective. I'm not so angry about that. Because I think uh, my rest, you can't be distracted. You can't necessarily be having too many ulterior motives other than getting to the top. I'll have some GoPro video, but it definitely won't be the epic drama of Matt conquering the mountain in, you know, three dimensions. So, you're just going to have to live with that. <laughs> Twist of my ankle. That'd be like the ultimate, like in uh, nature, just kind of like flicking you the bird. And Dingboche is just up ahead, and then we settle in for the next few days. Chilly though. Okay, we are in the Good Luck Hotel in Dingboche. This is my view outside. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> We're uh, trying to get a summit day. Pardon me. I trying to put luxury on my head to get back from all that burning, but we are trying to get a summit day of the 10th. However, we can make that happen. 
So uh, it takes a little coordination and it takes patience. Uh, <coughs> the uh, <coughs> weather reports are very, very mild winds on the summit of Everest, but uh, quite a bit of snow, and that's good. That means that we'll have some stuff to bite into uh, when we're trudging up the mountain. So that's good. Uh, if if this lull uh, repeats itself, then I think we'll go on a next lull, because right now they're setting up lines on Everest, and then in the next one, lines will be set up and we can go and actually use those lines. So until then, <coughs> it's just resting, which is easy. Done a lot of that. Too much. <laughs> <laughs>